They're lovely, aren't they? I got them today. Well, you wasted your time, didn't you? I don't think we'll be needing these today. Thank you very much. What are you doing? Mrs Birch, please! Stop that! Sarah's seen to those! Oh, no, she's not. She's in charge of flowers. You know that. Now, please stop! She should have thought of that before she abandoned her family and took up with that... that youth. She has no right to be in here. Mrs Birch, I decide who should be in this church. Now, please stop immediately! If you think I'm taking orders from a man who consorts with the publican... Mrs Birch, I'm asking... No, I'm telling you, you will leave this church this minute. Well, if you're not prepared to take the moral stance, then I shall simply have to make my views plain to the bishop. In writing! Sorry to cause you so much trouble. Sarah is my job. Maybe she's right. Maybe I shouldn't even be here. Sarah, the doors are always open, you know that. Even for a woman who's left her family and scandalized the entire village? We can hardly call ourselves Christians if we. well, if we reject. Sinners? Sarah, I can't condone what you've done. But I will promise you my support. I can't see what's to be gained by ostracizing people. If there was one place I thought I'd be safe, it's here. You are safe here. As long as I keep away from the altar, is that it? Edna had no right to do what she did. No right at all. Maybe it's best for everybody if I just leave her to it. No, I want you to carry on. I'm not going to let her dictate terms. It'll only cause more unpleasantness, and that's the last thing I want. And the last thing I want is to represent a church that judges people when it should be showing them the way. People like Edna... Well, they're not always the best advertisement for Christianity. Try not to let her get you down, Sarah. I didn't think I could sink much further. Until you came here, eh? It's the children. The children? Jack won't let me near them. I've written to them, but they've not answered. Maybe they've got nothing to say to me. And then there's Richie. Richie. He tries to understand, but... What is he, Sarah? Nineteen years old? There's no need to spell it out. As for Jack, I... I never thought he'd stand between me and the children. I did try talking to him, you know. And? I couldn't get anything out of him. I think you're going to have to approach him directly. He won't even listen to me. Sarah, you've got to start some kind of dialogue. Surely you have a legal right to see the children. Oh, I know what Jack would say. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. And in that case, you're going to have to seek legal advice, aren't you? Oh, Anna. Laura? Yeah? I need your advice. It's about the children. Is this really a good place? I, I won't keep you. It it's just, I've tried to be reasonable with Jack, but it's getting me nowhere. And you think I can help? Well, who else is there? I certainly seem to be in demand all of a sudden. So what are you saying, that Jack won't actually let you near the children? He takes them to the bus stop and picks them up after school. He tried writing? Yeah, not had a reply. He surely wouldn't stop them seeing my letter. You'd be surprised what lengths people will go to where children are concerned. He can't stop me seeing them forever, can he? Surely not. All I can tell you at this stage is you have a legal right to reasonable access. A legal right? Yeah. That's what you wanted to know, isn't it? Your rights. Yeah. I want to know how I can see them now, though. 